Rider's Passion Tip of the Week and Video Installs. Oh, Bradshaw from Cruiser Customizing here with Jeremy from Rider's Passion. We love the Rider's Passion brand. The quality that you give us for the price can't be beat. Metric is where you guys started out with and Metric is where you guys excel. Now, I see we have an array of products here on the table. It looks like we've got stem nuts, we've got regular bar clocks, we've got windshield mounts, we've got a VTX tachometer mount with a clock built into it. And those four down the line there, those are Harley parts, correct? Yes. Common features that I see in these clocks and thermometers is white face and black face, Celsius and Fahrenheit are on each of the thermometers. What are some other key points that you like to point out as far as units go? Basically what we're running is a uh, quartz waterproof, and I don't say waterproof just to say it, it's definitely a waterproof watch. It's guaranteed, warranted up to 10 years. Uh, the thermometers are standard copper coil. The aluminum that the uh, that the clocks are set into is 6061 T6 aircraft gate grade aluminum billet, triple chrome plated. All right, Jeremy, a couple of the questions that we commonly get. How do I set the time? How long does the battery last? How do I change the battery? Do I have to remove my grips to install these products? The set knob on this clock is hidden. Mm -hmm. How does the customer change the time when they get this clock at their house? Very easily. Uh, take this stem nut, for example. You just push out the bottom. There's a rubber O-ring to help it seal to the chrome. You just simply pull that off. And the set knob is right there. It's like any other wristwatch. You just pull and set to your time. Okay. Now that brings you to another question. The battery inside these clocks. How long does the battery la generally last? Uh, we're seeing the batteries lasting about four to five years. What happens when the battery goes out? What type of battery do you replace it with and how does that process happen? It's any standard watch battery you want to grab from Radio Shack, Walmart. Well, let's take one apart. Let's see, what looks, let's see what it looks like on the inside. All you're going to look for when you take it apart, there's a you want a precision flathead screw and there's a little slit. All you got to do, slide that in and pop it off and the battery is right here. All you do is pop that out, replace it, put the cover back on and you're set to ride five more years. The plastic ring here is going to lift off and then it looks like we have an SR626SW standard watch battery on the inside of this thing. So as far as installation goes, installation I know is a breeze. See this one here is a semicircle with a single set screw. So basically back out the set screw, set the clock over the bar, reset the set screw, and installation is done, correct? Correct. Uh, you just want to make sure that you're not putting it into a curve or if there's any plastic over the chrome. Okay. What do you see coming down the pipeline for you guys, Jeremy? Uh, right now we're working on voltmeters that attach straight to any windshield, um, compasses. Uh, we also are working on a cylinder head temperature gauge. Uh, much more stuff coming in the works within the next six months to a year. All right. Well, let's get a couple bikes in here and install some of these clocks so we can see exactly how easy these things are to install. Let's do it. Sweet. Thanks, Thanks Jeremy. Man. On the right-hand side of your screen, you're going to see links to the Metric and Harley-Davidson installs. Thank you for watching this week's Cruiser Customizing Tip of the Week. Until next week, take care and ride safe.